we will request of the lens to please be put in touch with another physical or earth planet, uh, a plane to whom we may be of service, please. The planet Zeton. Reading Zeton is in the frequency of the signal that is coming to us. Zeton, may we please have your name? Your name, please. My name? Please. What is the name of the polarity who is with whom I am in contact? You're speaking to Texton. Texton. Texton, yes. I am the one who was placed here on this planet many years ago. Would you know how many, dear one? Would you know how long ago you were placed there? I do. Tell us. I have a, an awareness that I have been here for in excess of 150,000 years. Good for you. I'm so glad you are that aware and awake. How wonderful. Tell me, please, uh, uh, where is your planet in the planetary system? Approximately, where is it located? This planet is one of 16 planets in a solar system. Of this solar system, its placement can be estimated to be in one of these concentric circles about the center of the galaxy. And if a line were drawn from the center to the arms, and you would find us in a parallax of the third circle and the fifth arm. I see. That is very precise, and we do thank you for that information. You see, uh, dear Sexton brother, we are recording your words. They will form many great books, all of these contacts with the many earth planes. Uh, doubtless you are aware we are a spiritual planet, high spiritual beings coming to you in this great golden age to pronounce the arrival of the great golden age. The cycle has arrived for you. You have been aware, have you, uh, or conscious that you were to receive a word uh, from a higher being? Yes, this one has been aware of a, a messenger. Uh, we have been awaiting. Fine, good. I'm so glad you are so alert and aware and conscious. Some have not been aware of the promise and the promise to return. Or where have you been by any chance aware of the one who placed you there this 150,000 years ago? Of the being? I know that I came here with a purpose. Purpose, good. I know that I was accompanied here by one who was my teacher. What was her name? Or his name? My memory is that it was a person by the name of Ionis. Iona. I am Iona. You are that one? I am the Archangel Iona, or Uriel, sometimes I am called Archangel Uriel, but I am Iona, the biocentric of the Archangel Michael. Greetings, dear one. Greetings, and in great rejoicing, I offer my hand for whatever is the need for this new age which I know you herald. This is true. You have been most patient to remain at your post for so long and we do commend you and with such a fine memory you know dear brother and you are my brother.
for you are a very part of my being. You are my, shall we say, projection or protege. You are a part of my being, and I have been with you ever since in a degree or in a particular frequency or consciousness, and I shall remain with you forevermore. Are you familiar with the planet Eros, the name Eros? No, no, I'm not. This is our spiritual planet, from where, whence comes all of our teachings, and where the hierarchy of all the earth planes, uh, from whence they are directed, inspired, and, shall we say, controlled. Eros. We will uh, talk more about Eros uh, after a short time. Uh, tell me, if you will, the life cycle of your people there. Approximately, how old do they live? 60, 70, 100 years, 200 in their physical body? We have a life cycle of close to the 100 period. I see. Sometimes more. Yeah, thank you. And uh, you did tell me where in the planetary system you are, and you know you have been awaiting my contact now. Uh, are you familiar? Have you been, uh, is your memory served you anything about the star centers that shall be erected and created? The star centers? The name star center I have no familiarity with. We have a building here we call our heavenly ascended one. Well, what a wonderful name. Is it a tower? Yes, it is a tower and it has a gradual shape from the bottom as it continues to the top, as it reduces in size and it appears somewhat like a large bell. In a way, rather a cone shape uh, or pyramid, pyramid, yes. 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 Well, um, you are right in all points. And uh, you have the tower is ju just the same as are all the other towers. Now, you have often wondered for what purpose this tower would be put, have you not? That's a heritage of this planet that they do not know of the origin of this building, this tower. We don't have full understanding as to its a particular use. It has been used for a variety of yes. purposes. Well, now is the time when you can learn uh, of its uh, further use and purpose. And believe me, dear, dear brother, it is of the most vital importance. We who are heralding this great golden age have so set in motion more than 100,000 years ago a great plan to help the Earthman. It was visible by we who came from the planet Ares and went to the planet Eros that the Earth people would be needing much help, for it was plain to see how the worlds were decaying, how they were regressing in their, in their uh, motion, which should have been a forward motion, had they have gained uh, the understanding and science of living, the very principles of creation, they would have all re progressed. Instead, they regressed. And so, by we who lived on the planet Ares, the 3,300 beings, spiritual beings, we set up this plan and have been, throughout these million years, one million, millennium it has been, whereby all things have been, have been created and are now set in motion where we can continue and carry out the plan from whence it was started lo, this millennium ago. And 